The Upper West Region is one of the regions most vulnerable to climate change. Annual temperature is rising and is projected to increase by approximately 1.1 to 1.9 degrees Celsius until 2050. This has big consequences for agricultural production that eventually affects us all. A new study shows that the yields of maize, sorghum and cow peas are projected to decrease significantly in the Upper West region of Ghana. This sounds bad, but there is something we can do. My name is Lauren Zongo. I'm going to show you the four adaptation strategies that we've identified and analyzed to reduce present and future yield losses. The use of uh, improved seed and then farmer seed, there are a lot of difference. Farmer seed normally yield lower than improved seed. And then those that don't have the money to go for the improved variety, they still use their own variety to cultivate. Currently, improved seeds are often unsuitable for the conditions in the Upper West region and are not accessible or affordable for farmers. The regional and national government must therefore support the development of high-yielding and resilient seeds that are suitable for smallholder farmers in the Upper West region and ensure that seeds are available and affordable to farmers. More research in local breeding, including farmer participation, needs to be done. Uh, our second adaptation strategy is to intercrop tissue with legume. So the leaf nutrients in the soil so that the cashew will also take it and produce more. And then it will surely increase farmers' income. Policy recommendation. Incentivize sustainable small-scale cashew production that is integrated on the farm and utilizes the whole product chain, including the cashew apples. Uh, the next adaptation strategy is farmer management natural regeneration. Farmer allow the natural trees to be there, where they take care of them, prune them, so that will give them good shade and also increase the soil fertility. The pruning can let the soil fertility increase and then the plants will also have enough uh, sunlight to also grow. Policy recommendation. Support the wide upscaling of farmer-managed natural regeneration systems on community and household level for smallholder farmers. The recommendation of the study is irrigate dry season farming so that uh, they can strengthen their livelihood by increasing income and creating job opportunities for farmers, especially the female farmers. The dry season with this irrigation, female farmers can do a lot of vegetable to help themselves. Policy recommendation. Facilitate the development and maintenance of dams, canals and boreholes for dry season irrigation in areas where it is economically useful and environmentally sustainable. If farmers can practice these adaptation skills, it will help them. And if policymakers can also come in to help farmers, they will be able to increase their production and also get income out of it. <music>